Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So, hi, guys. Uh, good morning. It is currently 10 past 9 in the morning, UK time, and 10 past 10 in the morning, Denmark time, which is where I am at the moment. I'm at the airport waiting for our bags to come, our luggage. Uh, apparently, it's going to take about 18 minutes for it to come from London Heathrow. But um, yeah, I'm here with my mum for a couple of days. Never been to Denmark before, so it should be quite exciting to um, just explore Copenhagen and just see what's here and stuff. I've always wanted to come here. Oh, it's moving now. But yeah, anyway, you're coming along the journey with me as always, so hopefully you enjoy this vlog. So, we have to help you now. We're actually in the city now um, of Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, it's pretty nice so far. The hotel's really nice, and this is so far what we've seen in the city. There's a park cafe over there, and there's like a, I don't know, some swings things over there, which is called the Tivoli, which is meant to be like a big theme park, which apparently is closed right now because it's like March now, and it opens in like April. But um, yeah, just kind of gonna go and see. Kind of get feel of the town basically. So yeah, that's the Tivoli place, which I told you is like a theme park thing. Uh, and apparently they do quite some shows as well every now and again. I read about it online, and they are doing Greece apparently and some ballet shows every night. Um, the actual theme park is closed, like I said, but it's meant to be really nice. So I don't know if, if they do do shows, they might go there tonight and see what they're doing and stuff to check it out. But otherwise, we'll just go and see other places. There's so many places to see apparently, and we're only here for two days, so I'm sure we can fit in a lot of things in those two days. So, interesting fact for you, there's a Hanley's in Copenhagen, which I'm in right now, as you can see. It's quite a big toy shop. Um, obviously, there's one of the famous ones in London, the main one. But I didn't know that they had them, like, everywhere here as well. Well, not everywhere, but they had them in other countries, which is quite interesting. But, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go actually downstairs, but it was just interesting to see that there is one. So, behind me, I don't know if you can see it now, is the Carlsberg Museum, or something like that. It's the brewery kind of tour that shows you how Carlsberg beer is made. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to do that or not. Um, I did a similar thing in Ireland, Dublin, when I went there a few years ago about Guinness, and that was quite interesting, so I'm going to do it again. And there's a the Eurovision thing here, as you can see. Um, can't actually see the days. It says apparently there's like 52 days or something until the Eurovision Song Contest starts. And here is a very nice kind of cathedral thing, which looks really pretty, but I don't know the name of it, unfortunately, yet. My mum's looking at naps and stuff, trying to figure out. And it's ringing, now the bells are ringing. <laughs> and this is a very nice statue and the weather is surprisingly very very warm i wasn't expecting it to be so warm but it's so nice i mean we've only just got here really but it's been really nice so far which has been very surprising but really nice at the same time because i was expecting it to be freezing because that's what that's what the weather's like usually in Denmark. so guys turns out that a really nice thing that you just saw outside like called a cathedral of some sort is actually the city hall and look how pretty it looks inside it's just beautiful the detail is just incredible I can't believe it's a city hall, it's amazing. Now I have to be speaking a bit quietly because I'm the only person I don't want to be told off. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go inside now. Wow. This is actually really, really nice. And you've got all the Danish flags, of course. I'm guessing all these statues are statues of important people. This is of a guy called Martin Nairobi. Do I need to know this guy? I don't know. It'd be really embarrassing if I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should have. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed. So behind me, you may be able to see the statue of Christian Andersen, who was a very famous. Um, a pretty cool statue, actually. I just went oh, next to it and got a couple of pictures and stuff. Very touristy, I know, but it was really, really cool. <laughs> I was just in front of me taking pictures of me as I'm vlogging, which is what she always likes to do to make fun of me and like, show me the pictures later on and be like, Sam, this is you, this is what you look like when you vlog and you look like an idiot. But um, yeah, hopefully she'll get to say hi later on as well. Also, uh, the city of bicycles. There's loads of bikes everywhere. As you can probably tell, which I really like because the thing is very, it's a very efficient way of travelling and going getting from one place to another and I think most other cities should probably do the same really and the same thing. I'm currently in a very nice area called the Winter Gardens or something like that in a museum, an art museum that my mum really wanted to see because she's into art and stuff, she paints herself. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go inside myself because I'm not really fast, too fascinated by art. I mean, usually I am, I can be, but not today. But look how nice this area is. There's a really lovely statue that looks a little bit weird, to be honest. It's of a mother, I believe, with a lot of children. 
and they all seem to be like the same age, so, I mean, well done to that mother for being able to give birth to so many children at once. It's quite a nice statue though, and I really do like the area itself, with like all the trees and, I don't know, it's just like a really relaxing area, I feel like I could just sit here all day and read a book and have a coffee or something, there's a nice coffee shop there as well. Um, yeah, I don't know, I might join them on later on, just go inside and see what's happening, because I do have a ticket here, um, as you can see. It's the NY Carlsberg, that's not it, that is not it, um, I, I don't even know what it is. I don't know where this place is, but it's a museum of art. This is a song about love And not a very good one I don't know enough To tell you about heartbreak But I know it's there And you can avoid it by listening to your so guys, I would like you to meet my new friend, Benjamin. He's up there as you can see. He's really nice, I mean, I know that he's being a bit shy right now and he doesn't want to show his face, but usually he's really nice and friendly. He just, it takes a while for him to get to know people and stuff. But yeah, that's Benjamin. He's, he's cool. So I'm just outside the Tivoli thing, which like I said, it's closed apparently, which is quite sad. But this is the poster for Greece, which is a show that they're showing here. Um, even now, even though the, the Tivoli bit is actually closed, they're still showing this show apparently. So I thought it was cool, you know, as a musical theatre fan, to see Greece uh, with completely different actors, completely different people. I'm guessing it's going to be like in Danish as well, not in English. I mean, why would it be in English? It would be quite interesting to see it, but I don't really know if we will. But yeah, this is this is the Tivoli um, bit thing inside. As you can see, there's like roller coasters over there. I can kind of see it, but it's closed. It's closed. It's it's, it's annoying for me just because. I mean, if you know me, you know that I love theme parks. It's my favourite thing. Roller coasters are my favourite thing. One of my favourite things ever. Um, and it's closed, and it's opening in like a few weeks, uh, which is a bit sad. So maybe we'll have to come back sometime, I don't know. So I believe that we're in the shopping area of Copenhagen. Um, and my mum just found some Danish pastries, which are very, 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 very famous. We're very excited to go and try some. Um. <laughs> mum, do you want to say hi? My mom's very excited about these. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in and try some, I think, or get some and try them later. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Those Guys, I have to say, those Danish pastries, I mean, I tried yeah, chocolate yeah, one yeah, and it was <laughs> amazing. It was so nice. I actually found it quite difficult to finish it, but I did eventually because I just felt bad because I wanted to finish it because it was so nice. But yeah, it was incredible. I'm hoping to get another one maybe tomorrow or on Saturday morning before we leave, maybe take some to London with us because they were really, really nice. I'm currently in a Danish Disney store. It's not very different to any other Disney store, to be honest, except for the fact that everything's in like Danish currency. But that's about it. Um, and also this bag that I found over here. It's a Mickey bag. It says Copenhagen on it, so that's pretty much the only difference. But yeah, it's. I just had to come in for a bit because I love Disney. And that's really nice actually, the chandelier and like the princesses over there and the Snow White dressy. Anyway, I do love Disney. Guys, I've just found myself in yet another toy shop because obviously I'm a child, clearly. Um, look at this Solly thing. It's actually really cute. But whoa, it's £149. No, it's not. It's 149 crowns, which is like, I don't know, about maybe £20 or something. Anyway, I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to go out before somebody thinks I'm really weird. We've somehow found ourselves in front of an Irish pub. Looks pretty cool. Looks very, very Irish from the outside. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be very Irish on the inside as well. I mean, it's very close to St. Patrick's Day, actually. Bikes, 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 and more bikes. It's just insane the amount of bikes that you see here. It's just like everybody's got one. Like I said, I think it's really cool. It's just made me want to kind of cycle to work every day now. And We're about to go on a tour of the canal, which is just here. It should be very exciting. Um, apparently it starts in about 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Also, sorry if I'm really tired and stuff, it's because I pretty much didn't sleep at all last night. Possibly I'll get a good night's sleep tonight and I'll be a lot more cheerful tomorrow, but definitely looking forward to this. It should be really, really fun. I've heard great things about this tour and, you know, I always love a boat ride. Just <laughs> <laughs> to under a bridge at the moment. 
how very exciting. So far we've seen a few swans and over there there's a couple of ducks and our tour guide is currently talking in Danish which is a language I don't understand. But it's all right. I'm enjoying it. Now on your right side you see the old stock exchange building. It's actually the oldest one in the world. It's between 1620 and 1640. Have a look at the special spire made of four dragons with the tails twisted together. The dragons are supposed to protect the building from fires. That's a stock exchange apparently. It's designed by the Royal Agency for the Nikolai Eiffel. Also designed the first Christian's Old Castle. Nowadays, the warehouse is used for important conferences and meetings. A little bit of German, so I'm not going to go there again. You know, I'm actually learning quite some of the interesting facts on this school. I didn't expect to. I was just excited to come on this because of the boat thing. But it's actually pretty fascinating. That used to be the world's best restaurant. Now it is the second best, as we were eaten by Spain. And the name Noma is made of the two Danish words Nordisk Mill, meaning Nordic. That food. Is the world's and the best restaurant ever. Ever. The 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 second best restaurant ever. Ever. And the second best restaurant 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 So it's got a bit cold in there, which is why I've had to put my hat on. Yes, yes. I'm not quite sure if she's explaining everything in English in a second, but we're going past these colourful houses again, which I absolutely adore. Um, honestly, they're so pretty. I kind of want to just go and see like what's inside them, which sounds a bit creepy, but trust me, I don't mean it that way. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going back. I don't know. In the old days, this area was the home of the sailors, and due to prostitution and the many pubs, Newhalm had a very bad reputation for many years. This has changed a lot over the years, as it nowadays. It's a museum hall with all these old wooden ships. This is going to be a lovely place to book a tour. It's a place for wood. I am freezing quite a bit even though it's time. Lowest bridge on tour. Someone has your heads, please. Oh, we're going under a bridge. We're going under a bridge. Under a bridge. It's a quote from 39 Steps to play. In case anybody cares, you know. 
theatre fans. I really love how empty the boat is actually. There you go. There's literally like two other people on here apart from me and my mum. Yeah. It's been a very relaxing talk, right, to be honest. I haven't been listening to everything she's been saying about like the history and stuff, which is my own fault, really. Um, I'm not saying I'm doing a good thing or the right thing, but yeah, it's still been really nice just to see the playhouse, which is part of the Royal Theatre. Experience to come to and the see of Shakespeare's the sites and stuff. The building is designed by the artist called Wendy and Tranberg, and if you look up on the top, I of the think building, we're going to go back to the hotel too. So we finally arrived at a restaurant and we're about to have food for the first time today, like proper food, which is quite exciting. We've got some chicken here, which my mum's having as well, and um, I've got some apple juice as well, and I'm waiting on a stage. Right, very, very soon. I'm very excited. It's been a good day. I think we're going to go to the hotel after this and just sleep. And yeah, we'll see what tomorrow is. My steak has just arrived. It's a steak with Bernays sauce, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, it tastes so amazing. So yeah, I'm going to finish the vlog for today, but um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. This this is Tivoli at night time and these are all the people waiting to go inside to watch shows, different shows like musicals, ballet, other stuff and it's currently about 7pm and I'm kind of jealous of them. I'm so tired that we're just going heading off to the hotel now but yeah I just wanted to show you this because you know I love theatre and I kind of wish I could have gone inside the Tivoli but obviously it's closed and you know apart from, from musicals and shows and stuff it's actually closed uh, apart from the show stuff. Morning guys, it's day two today in Copenhagen. Um, we woke up about maybe three hours ago, had uh, breakfast at the hotel and stuff. And now we've come here to see a very famous statue, which is the statue of a mermaid. It's like, I don't know, one of the iconic things that you can come and see here in Denmark. Um, and you can see here people just waiting. So there you are, you can see it over there. I'm just going to zoom on it. But it's literally just it, it's just a statue of a mermaid. I'm not exactly sure why it's become so famous, but. Apparently it's very old and it's been there for quite a while, but it's pretty cool, I think this whole area is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that statue over there is very, very famous. It's kind of a bit closer now, I'm closer down to the mermaid, which is just over there as you can see. Um, I went right next to her and I got a couple of pictures, which was pretty nice. Got some pictures of my mum as well, which you can see here. But yeah, it was pretty nice. Uh, it's a really cool statue and I really love it because there's somebody, one of those people there, I don't know which one, has put on the, the music, the soundtrack to The Little Mermaid, the Disney film, um, Part of Your World. So like that's just like in the background now because somebody's put their iPod on and that's just singing, which I think is really cool. But yeah, it's it's nice. I really do like this area. I wish I knew the name of it. I'm going to find out the name of this area in general. Mermaid because that's just the statue of a mermaid. But um, yeah, if I do find out, I'll put it here. Uh, but yeah, it is very nice, and like I said, that mermaid is a very famous mermaid somehow. Apparently, it's literally meant to be the most iconic thing about Copenhagen, which I mean, don't know if it deserves it, to be fair, because it's just a statue, but it is a very cool statue, so yeah, I'm glad I got to see it, and now I feel like I've actually been to Denmark, which is very stupid, it's just it's actually a really nice area. We went past this yesterday as well when we went on the boat. Nice. The weather's really nice as well. And there's some like, I don't know, is that, is that a duck? I don't know. Yeah, right, I'm gonna go and find my mum now. So guys, I found some information about this Little Mermaid statue. It was, it's called The Little Mermaid by Edvard Eriksson and apparently it was donated to the city of Copenhagen in 1913, which is a long time ago. There's something about um, Hans Christian Andersen as well. Obviously, yeah, the fairy tale, this mermaid, which um, is written by Christian Andersen, and hoping, we're hoping to go to Christian Andersen's museum very soon as well, later today. So that should be very fun. But yeah, at least I kind of know a bit more about the statue now. So it's not just a random statue of a mermaid. And this is my mum. So now we've sort of been a proper tourist, and we're on one of those red buses, the touristy buses. And the ones where you can just hop on and up. Um, it's actually a good price, it's about 20 euros. So we 
we've just uh, hopped off the bus to go and visit the oldest church in Copenhagen. I don't know the name of it, unfortunately, but I'll find out soon, I'll let you know. But um, it looks quite cool from the outside. It just looks like any other church, to be honest, but <laughs> I do love Copenhagen, it's cool. See, it does actually look quite nice. Well, that bit of it does anyway. So, guys, everything I said about the other thing that you just saw being a church, I'm pretty sure I was wrong. Because we're somewhere else now, and I think that's the church that we're meant to go to. But I have to be really quiet here. So we have finally found the Christianity in the Hill house and that's the man himself, where a statue of him anyway. Um, it took us a while to find it because not many people, not many Danish people actually know where the place is in the, in the museum is like right next to the Belief Not Museum and everybody knows that one but not many people know the Christianity in the Hill house so yeah, go in you That's crazy. I feel like I'm in like a Disney ride. It's so weird. Like the music and everything, like all the dolls and stuff, the statues. Is that meant to be him? Yes, Anderson was brought up in a home consisting of a single room and was completely taken up with his father's shoemaker's bench. His father was an independent shoemaker and his mother a washerwoman. The family did not have a permanent address until they moved to Monke Mollish, wherever that is, in 1807. So yes, that's him as a little kid. So this room is basically like a ship and um, it says over there, there's a quote by Anderson. It says, to travel is to live. Travelling appealed to Anderson, his first trip abroad being followed by many others. Time after time he was able to please his readers in his travelogues. Um, I really like that about him because I'm also somebody who absolutely loves travelling, so that's why I'm here in Copenhagen exploring the city. So I'm not sure how we can see me because it is quite dark, but this is the whole thing about the Hotel Mermaid, which obviously is, um, you know, Christian Anderson's, one of Christian Anderson's works. You can hear the sea, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So why we really like about this museum, or this fairy tale house, is that there's like scripts of each of his um, work, some of the, his works, I suppose, some of the ones that aren't very well known, like this one's The Nightingale, and I really want to just read all of them, but obviously it's going to take a lot of time if I sit here and read them. But I do like that because it kind of, you know, um, lets you read some of his work if you're not really familiar with them. Um, see, there's just another one, The Little Match Girl. It was late on a bitterly cold New Year's Eve. The poor little girl walked along the street, bareheaded, and no shoes on her feet. Obviously, I'm not going to read the whole thing for you, but it is pretty cool. Um, and then it's really dark here, but it's like you get like a feel of of where Anderson was in his life, um, where he wrote these things, when he wrote these things, and also some of his stuff. So here, sorry, I was blurry before. Um, where is this? Is there an English version of this? Oh, it should be here. It's called Thumbelina. So I'm guessing that's kind of a representation of um, that story, that fairy tale. But obviously I haven't read that one, so I don't really know much about it. But there's a girl there, as you can see. It looks like a really cool thing. I mean, 
The thing is, I love fairy tales. I used to love them a lot when I was a kid. Uh, I kind of lost interest in them when I grew up, but there are some that are classic and just you have to love. You can't not love. And again, I don't know how dark I am at the moment because there's not much light. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going. So we've got the Stepfast Tin Soldier fairy tale here. And this is the representation of it basically. As you can see, there's toy soldiers and somebody's room and toys. Again, sorry about the darkness. And that's what's making the noise at the moment. I mean, it's pretty weird. I literally feel like I'm in a fairy tale story. I think that's what this museum is feeling like. It's the feel that I'm getting anyway, the vibe that I'm getting. Um, who's this? Oh, wow, that's the ugly duckling story, isn't it? It's meant to be. But I don't see any ducks here, so I don't know if that's what's meant to be representing this. I don't know. But obviously, Kristen Anderson wrote uh, the very famous fairy tale of the ugly duckling as well. A story about... Um, the ducks and that duck, the ugly duckling basically, you know, if everybody's heard of it. But um, yeah, he wrote it and he made it very famous. Um, keep wow, naked person. Oh, I know what that is. I know that story. Wait, what's it called? The Princess and the Pea. Is that what it's called? Wait, no, no, it's the Emperor's New Clothes. That's the one. I remember I was told this story many, many times when I was a kid. Um, it's very famous again. You know which one I'm talking about, right? The one about the that emperor who wants to have the best clothes ever, but then somebody they make people make fun of him, and then pretend that it's like this amazing um, outfit that like is invisible to him only, and only people who are beautiful themselves can see it, and so he believes it. Then he ends up going out naked. I used to love that story when I was a kid. So guys, here's a cool thing. Here you can see a lot of the original copies of um, Christian Anderson's fairy tales, the original ones when he first published them. Obviously that's The Little Mermaid, which I think is really cool. Um, it says Classic Junior. And some of his other work are here as well. And I don't really know what that is. Is that like a kind of a game thing? I don't know. Maybe it's a book. Maybe that's what books look like at the time. But yeah, all these fairy tales, like the original ones, the original copies are actually here. Which is insane because there was a long time ago and I think that's amazing. And as somebody who loves books myself, I absolutely love reading, I love books and I love fairy tales. I think that's really, really cool. And the music here is very relaxing as well. But um, yeah, greatest Dane of all time, I guess. The readers of the Danish newspaper, that, I'm not going to read that, has elected Hans Christian Andersen the greatest Dane of all times. In close competition with 100 other dominated Danish personalities from past and present, including scientists, writers, royalty, Nobel Prize winners, and even football players, the reader pulls together with an expert panel shows the world famous fairy tale writer as the greatest day ever. That's, that makes me really happy, you know, the fact that he kind of beat all these other incredible people um, as their favourite Danish person, I think is really, really cool because he's a writer. And I think writers are important and often aren't given enough credit. And I think it's great that he has had such a big impact on people. We then went into another Danish pastry shop and I developed a quick crush on one of the guys who worked there, so I tried to sneakily film him. <laughs> and of course we had some more tasty pastries. And these, as you can see, are called smorobrod, which are a very Danish type of sandwiches. Uh, they're like open sandwiches and you can, you can have them in different types, basically. We didn't try them. So I'm currently going past a very pink building. As you can see here, I'm not quite sure what it is, um, but they were advertising some like film stuff, film posters on it, so I'm guessing maybe it's a cinema or some kind of theatre. Because as you can see there, um, yeah, I'm guessing it's a cinema, but it's a really cool cinema if it is a cinema indeed. It's very pink and I love pink. It's one of my favourite colours, not my absolute favourite colour, my absolute favourite colour is blue, in case anybody cares. But I do like pink as well. What can I say? Typical girl and all that. So after much searching again, we finally found the Rundatan, or Rundatan is how they call it. I think it's something, something like Round Tower, which is this, as you can see. Um, apparently it gives some really nice views of um, Copenhagen, so we're going to go and see if we can go up and see what the view's like. So we're on our way up now. Uh, there's no stairs. Uh, there will be a few at the end, but pretty much it's just like going up like this, around, around the tower, which is quite cool. You might be able to see my mum behind me, I don't know. But um, it should be quite good. Uh, we've just done our first round. Not too high up yet. But yeah, I'm just going to show you. We sing together out of key. Although we 
we try it seems we just can't find our harmony We just don't fit each other's frequencies That makes you out of reach And I am finally accepting that About you and me It's plain to see We only ever want to stay inside and watch TV because So I think I've done about three or four rounds I already need a bit of a rest This just shows how unfit I am I'm not even that high up yet, look It's still like normal height Trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, the steep is quite crazy. I mean, it does look too tired. But then again, I'm really not fit at all, so it could be my problem. I think I've got another two and a half rounds to go, or three hours to go, and then about 60 steps, and then I'm right at the top. <laughs> okay, guys, come along with me. Hopefully, I'll make it. high up as you can see it's still a pretty nice view. My impression of um, sorry, I'm going to turn this around. My impression of um, Copenhagen as a city is that it's a very calm city. It's very relaxing. Like, the people are very chill. They're very very chilled. Um, um, yeah, it just makes you feel really like calm as well. Just being here because everybody seems really normal, like chilled about life. And it's not very busy either. I mean, I've, in my experience in the past few days, it's, it's quite empty. There's not very many people about. Um, which makes it nice, and it's also a very clean city, very, very clean, which is nice. So you see, you know, the sunset behind me, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks incredible. Um, I'm going to try and make it justice, do it justice on camera, but it really doesn't, you just have to be here. It's just so nice. I, just, I mean, it's incredible that, you know, the sunset is something that happens every single day. I know I'm being really cheesy right now, so I'm sorry about that, but it's just how I'm feeling. And yeah. Thing. I didn't actually use any of these because I didn't feel like I needed one, but yeah, you can, you, that's an option if you want to zoom into things, but my camera zoom is pretty good. Thank you, camera. That's it now. It's time for me. And it's back down we go. Those are weird, swirly, spiral stairs. Um, then we get to another set of stairs, and it's just going like seven rounds down. I do have to say, going down is a lot easier than going up, but that's just the fact that everybody knows. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of this dress? I know it looks very attractive with my jeans and my socks, but um, yeah, I'm thinking of getting it, but I don't know, because I think it's quite cute. It's not like you're going to be able to help anyway, because by the time this goes up, I would have already bought it probably, but 
yeah, it's like it's from a very thin Swedish Scandinavian, not Swedish, Scandinavian um, shop that I've never seen of before, I've never seen anywhere else, which is why I thought, you know, I thought this time was really cute. So I might go for it. What about this one, guys? I actually personally prefer this one because I think the colours are a lot nicer, it's blue and red and they're my two favourite colours. I think I'm actually going to buy this one now, not the black and white one which you see here. I'm going to go for this one. Naughty. So my mum just bought me um, that dress and she's really lovely for that and uh, that's the shop that I was talking about. It's called, I don't know if you can see it, uh, Mara Mikwe, wait, Mari Meko. It's a really nice shop and I'm very happy with my dress. <laughs> and yes, this is my, <laughs> this is why, um, this is where my dress is, basically. <laughs> Thank you, Mum. We are currently in one of uh, Copenhagen's best um, pastry places. Uh, that's what we've been told anyway. My mum's buying a couple of things because we couldn't resist. And there's some cupcakes here as well, as you can see. But we didn't get any cupcakes because, I don't know, I feel quite proud of myself for not getting cupcakes. But the actual pastries themselves, which, I mean, the ones that I got are the ones over there. We tried some yesterday as well, and today earlier. <laughs> We've been eating them often. Some street performers. It's our last night here in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I just have to make a few comments. Um, firstly, um, my name is McDonald's behind me, I can see it or not. There's also a Burger King over there. Um, well, I've just gone inside the shop to just have a look around. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a comment about Danish people in general. Um, from my experience, uh, pretty much every single person that I've met has been lovely, uh, really, really friendly, really nice, and everybody speaks like perfect English, which is a bonus for me because obviously I can't speak Danish at all. Um, although, like I said, Danish does sound quite similar to German, which I find really interesting. But um, yeah, yes, everybody's been really nice. I've loved my experience here so far. We're leaving tomorrow at like 12, so we don't really have much time to do much tomorrow. But um, yeah, I just want to say, if any Danish person watches this, thank you. So we then went to this restaurant near our hotel, which, as you can see on the menu, specializes in all kinds of different meat. And as you know, I love meat. Sorry, vegetarians. And each person was given a card on which we had to tick the options we wanted for our meat. So for me it was medium steak with french fries, garlic butter and salad. Now this was a salad and it was absolutely amazing. I mean it, this could have been my main meal on its own. It was just so good. I loved it. And this was a steak. I mean seriously how beautiful does it look. It was incredible. So this place that we're at right now, which is here, you can see the menu. And this is my steak. Apparently we just spoke to a Danish couple right next to us and they told us that it's, it's meant to have the best meat, the best steak ever, in, in Denmark anyway. And I just had uh, some of my steak and I agree, I, I'm somebody who eats steak all the time and I definitely agree that it, the steak is like unbeatable. It's amazing, it's so good. I'm just going to go and eat the rest of it now. So we've just come out of this amazing steak restaurant, which uh, this is what it looks like from outside. I think it's called something like Brigariet or something. Uh, it's a Hereford beef stove, something like that. But literally all they do is meat, different kinds of meats, um, mainly like steaks and stuff, but also like crabs and even fish. Um, I had a steak, my mum had a steak. It was delicious, it was one of the best steaks I've ever had. And it's just a very nice restaurant. And like I said, that couple next to us confirmed that it definitely is the best steak in Denmark. So I'm very, very happy and that's the buddy over there. So it's a very nice location as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to the hotel now, I think. Uh, it's been a great, you know, night, a great view and everything. Morning. It's currently about 9.40 in the morning, um, Saturday. We're leaving in a few hours. Uh, it's our last couple of hours here, basically, in Copenhagen. Um, I'm about to go down to have breakfast. But I thought I'd just show you a little bit of the room, even though it's quite messy right now, because we're kind of all, both panicking, because we're packing and stuff, uh, to go to the airport. But, um, yeah, these are the beds. Sorry, they are both definitely messy. Um, there's two little chairs here, which you can see. Quite cool. It's quite a modern hotel, I think. It looks really modern. Like, look at those lights. I like those, because they're all, like, colourful. There's a green one, yellow one, pink one. And I'm guessing that's just a normal white one. But I think that's pretty cool. And I just want to show you the view as well, because the view 
is incredible. I mean, I kind of shared with you last night when it was like dark and stuff with the lights, but even in the morning, look, it's a really cool view. And that over there is part of Tivoli, the theme park, which is closed at the moment, sadly. I mean, I wouldn't have gone on that anyway, even if it was open. I don't like heights. Um, I do like roller coasters though, and that's a roller coaster over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I would have definitely gone on that one, um, but unfortunately it's closed. Um, I mean, the weather actually looks really nice as well. It's very warm. It's very sunny. Uh, there's high, um, a high hardware cafe down there. Um, I think the restaurant, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I was, was going to try and find the restaurant that we went to um, last night, the steak one, but I can't seem to find it. But yeah, this is um, Copenhagen, pretty much, or parts of it. And um, yeah, I'm going to go down now to join my mum. Wow. I'm going to go down to my mum to have breakfast quickly, and then I think we're going to go and just have a stroll around for a bit and then come back and pack properly and leave for the airport. So this has been my breakfast for the past two days. Um, scrambled eggs, some potatoes and mushrooms. Uh, that's what my mum's been having, like that kind of cheese, which I tried it today for the first time because my mum was like, oh, you have to try it. It's incredible, it's so nice with this bread. It just, it's very Danish and it's, uh, they t it tastes amazing. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to have uh, with some toast as well. So guys, I'm at the airport right now with my mum. Um, we're waiting to go on the flight back to London. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video as always. It's really nice when you come on the journey with me and it kind of feels like you were on the trip with me, so that was nice. Um, I really enjoyed my time here in um, Copenhagen. It was my first ever time in a Scandinavian country, so like Denmark, Norway and uh, Sweden. I'm going to Sweden in May, so that should be fun as well. Uh, obviously there's going to be a vlog about that as well. But um, yeah, thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!